1% of people can solve these impossible riddles. Let's find out if you can. Should be easy. I got a galaxy brain. Sally got lost in the jungle. Oh, no. She's lost. A local tribe found her and took her to their leader. Bro, he has got a sick fit on. We'll help you to go back home. This is the nicest Aww. tribe ever. If you prove your courage and strength, here is a weapon for you. So she's got some sharp bamboo. Now choose the place of your battle. Fam, if you don't know this, I've never gotten one of these wrong. I'm one of the biggest brain people in the world. A cage with an angry tiger. Don't want to go in there. You should stay there for 15 minutes. Inside a cage with a hungry tiger, hail. Nah, a lake with hungry sea cows. You should stay underwater for 20 minutes, okay? I don't look like David Blaine. I can't hold my breath that long. A pit full of venomous snakes. <laughs> See, what doesn't make sense to me? Sea cows in a lake? What? I don't think that adds up, fam. They are salt water creatures, not fresh water. Oh, yeah! A bamboo stick won't help her fight a tiger or a snake. Sea cows are harmless. They don't even attack you. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't even know what a sea cow was until today. The only problem is to stay underwater for 20 minutes. <gasps> Use the bamboo stick to breathe. Oh my god, dude. James loves computer science and graphic design. Jidel, baby. He was only 15, but already worked for a huge company. James! Proud of you, my boy. Keeping up both school and work, dude. That's a tough task, fam. He earned really good money. Not at school, though, and getting paid at school. His schoolmates didn't know about that? They don't know he's making bread like that? They bullied him for being shy. Dude, that is the worst. Why do the shy kids have to get bullied? One day he saw Jenny and fell in love at first sight. The queen of the school. She's a hottie. Okay, whoa. And her father was a millionaire and kind of ugly. James decided to give her something cool for her birthday. He didn't have any ideas about what girls liked and bought an expensive purse. That's a wallet. James came to her birthday party. Bro, this dude is simping. He is down horrendously. And gave her the present with a happy smile. Aww. That's very wholesome. Jenny looked inside the box and threw it back at him. Then she slapped him. Oh my God. Hey, she, okay. Are you serious? What do you take me? For. What's wrong? Jenny's just a bitch. <laughs> That's what's wrong? What's wrong? Jenny's already rich. I feel like it's the only context clues we've gotten at this point, so we're going with that one. Oh, Jenny was rich and knew famous brands really well. Okay. It was a fake? No! How was I supposed to know? Detective Reed struggled to solve the case of the death of a university teacher named Christopher Burns. He had only one suspect, Roger Cardwell, sussy boy. He's one of Burns' students. He was the last one who saw his teacher alive, sussy boy. The police were ready to arrest Cardwell. But wait, said the detective, received the following message. This is big, y'all, get ready. The f does that say? The second to last letter is the start of the word and then it goes backwards. So look, same thing. Roger's brother strangled Professor Burns. Big brain, people. Bro, I low-key could be a detective if I wasn't a YouTuber. I got it right, right, right. You are right. No, no, no. Maniacs showed up in Largeville, home of the large, and kidnapped six boys. Okay. He put them in a basement. The maniac held them captive for about three days. The boys were starving. This man literally has children in his basement. One of them suddenly recalled he had some cookies in his pocket. You tell me we've been starving for three days, my G, and you've had those cookies in your pocket this damn time? But they were only five cookies. How can six boys divide five cookies equally? Whoever the smallest one is doesn't get one. He's already gonna die off soon. It's simple math. Five divided by six. That is... I don't know how to do that. We cut each cookie into six individualized pieces, like a pizza. Then each boy gets five pieces. Boom! I think I figured it out. Okay. That doesn't seem very equal. What? Guess the job by the emojis. Okay. I see the camera. I'm gonna say movie director. Mm, easy. Film director, same thing. Let's go. Galaxy Brain. All right, we're gonna try this one in seven seconds. Girl, uh, she's an accountant. She's got the money, the paper. Yep, accountant. All right, we're doing this one quick as well. Handyman, lightning bolt. Electrician, baby! Yes! Um, okay. Man's looking nice. I don't think he's a chef. I think he's a server at a restaurant. A waiter! Same thing! Bro, I actually crushed that. Can y'all give me a high five? A dangerous maniac kidnapped your best friend. Dun, dun, dun! 
and decided to play a game with you. Bro, he's scary. I'll set your friend free, you absolute maniac. If you come here and get her yourself, hell nah. Bro, best friend is dying. There are three different doors leading to where your friend is. All right, we got some saw things up in here. A pool with boiling Water. Acid that will dissolve your body in 10 seconds. I ain't going near that damn acid. Metal heated to a thousand degrees a week ago. Do you think I have a small brain? A week ago, fam. Obviously the metal isn't hot anymore. Do you think I'm stupid? I feel disrespected. Show me the answer. It was obviously. George, you watch it. I know you got that one wrong, you dumbass. Mr. Jones was found dead at home. Poor Mr. Jones. His wife called the police. Damn, his wife had to find her husband dead. That is tragic. And detective Gonzalez arrived in just five minutes bro it lives right next door the killer got rid of the weapon makes sense and cleaned up the blood so that we couldn't understand how it happened I mean was it a gash like if there's a lot of blood I feel like we might know what caused that where were you at the time of the murder I was buying food at the grocery store store has an open sign cook very believable she needs to get her groceries gardener I was in the garden planting roses Okay, I was at the spa. Damn, his own wife. The wife is the one who called the police as well. Oh my god, bro, wait. The maid literally has a blood bucket. <laughs> Caught in 4K. Why, silly maid. A coin collector called up Detective Stone and asked him to come as soon as possible. It's a coin collector. Someone stole his unique coin collection. Who would do this? Not the unique coin collection. No. Tell me what happened, please. About an hour ago, I left my apartment for an international exhibition. The elevator was out. So I walked down the stairs and I saw a man coming up towards me. He was holding on to the railing. Sus. Suddenly he punched me in the face. Ah, that's horrible. I fell right on him, but he hung on to the railing. How do you remember the details of this? And didn't fall down. He quickly grabbed my briefcase and ran away. He just got jumped. But Detective Stone didn't believe him. It's a sus story. I mean, he does have a giant bruise on his face. Look at this, bro. Are you serious? My boy is capping. Okay, so he's got a bruise on his left eye, right? But this man had his right arm on the railing, his left. So if he punched him with his left, I mean, that's kind of a tough angle to punch this side of the face. You would punch this side. He's capping, bro. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, bro. My brain is the size of Uranus. I'm talking about the planet. Okay, Sean has just joined Big Brain Gang. Subscribe to join Big Brain Gang. All right, which color is different level one? Let's test our eyesight. I'm gonna put my mouse cursor on it. It's this one. All right, one for one. See how good my vision is. Oh, fam, that is so dark. Come on now. Easy. I got that one right as well. Let's go. Level three. Try me. Mm, top right. Easy. Say less. Can I get a round of applause? Thank you. Thank you. Right here, fam. It's looking a little lighter. Yeah. Bro, my vision is god here. Oh. Okay, I only have a couple seconds. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say this middle one. It's looking a little darker. I didn't. No, got that one wrong. Okay, I'm doing them as speed rounds makes it so much of a hard, blah, harder. Uh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. Bro, I'm struggling. <laughs> I, it's looking the way, everything is looking the exact same to me. Hell no. Nah. I think this middle one. I think this one looks a little darker than the rest. Nope. nope it was the side one. Who is a vampire? I I I. Hmm. Um, maybe it's the girl who's not holding the marshmallows. Vampires ain't eating marshmallows, they eating blood. He has no shadow. Oh. I've never been one to make excuses uses for anything but i did have my shades on donald the plumber was accused of a murder and went to prison just saw being accused do we have any facts he believed he was innocent i trust you he had decided to escape the same night he doesn't trust the trial the building was old and had a lot of winding corridors no man has ever escaped from there bro didn't even come up with a game plan he said day one i'm out and he did it how did donald manage to escape all right, man. I mean, I think it has to be from the vent. Because, you know, he's not digging elaborate holes. I see a crack in the wall. It's going to take days. He was a plumber, so he knew that a person was able to fit in the air duct system. I mean, it was literally the only thing there. I think anyone would have figured that out. Whiskers was a cute and fun cat, and we're renaming him to Bustafer. My cat's name. He lived in Scareville for many years. That's my boy, Bussy. The town was located in an abnormal area. Hell no, nah, what the hell type of thing is that? Strange creatures lived together 
together with ordinary humans. Bro, they ain't even cold. He's freezing. It was an eternal winter and there was barely enough food. If someone's trying to snack on Bustopher, I will beat the living pulp out of them. Once Bustopher disappeared right from his house, his friends were looking for him for a few days and they finally identified three sussy suspects. Sorry, I prefer human blood. I can go and help you look for him at night. Dude, thank you, vampire. Appreciate you. Poor pussy. Poor Bustopher, I knew him since he was a tiny kitten. Sorry, I can't join the search now. Girl, what are you knitting? Is that fuzzy? I hate cats, but Mr. Bustopher was a nice one. He was. Sorry, I'm busy with my kids, bruh. Hell no, that grandma is messed up. Her grandson was about to freeze to death, so she kidnapped Bustopher for a stick throw. Oh my God, he's alive. At least he's alive. The grandma is still dying, because now my boy Bussy's going to be cold. What doesn't fit? Okay, broomstick. Black cat, uh, obviously the leprechaun hat. What is that doing there? It makes no sense. The rest of the stuff is for witches. Ain't no witches. Mm. The helmet on the left, everything else is alien vibrations. Okay, doesn't make sense. A motorcycle helmet, what are you doing here? Get out, leave. What doesn't fit? The gun. All the other stuff is vampire tings, bro. At least I know enough about vampires to get this one right. <laughs> Sad. Click on screen right now to watch my other riddle video. I bet you can't solve it. Peace!